Math 6, Quarter 4, Week 6, Milk Base. Let's learn about Probability. This is from Learner's Packet Lip. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about probability. For most essential learning competencies, describes the meaning of probability, such as 50% chance of rain and one in a million chance of winning, and performs experiments and records outcomes. The chance that something will happen is called probability. No one can predict the future, but probability can help us make reasonable assumptions about future events based on their likelihood. Probability may be given in fraction, decimal, or percent. The value of probability ranges from 0 to 1. 0 means the event is impossible to happen. Next to it is most unlikely to happen. It is 25% chance or in decimal, it is 0.25 or in fraction, one fourth chance to happen. And in the middle is 50% chance. The event is as likely or as unlikely to happen. In decimal, it is 0.50 and in fraction, it is one half. So these are less probable than not. While 1 means the event is certain to happen, it is 100% to happen. Before 100%, we have 75% chance or likely to happen. In fraction, it is 3 fourth, and in decimal, it is 0.75. It can also be as likely or as unlikely to happen, that is 50% chance or 0.50 or one half chance. We call them more probable than not. According to Mang Tani, a resident meteorologist, the weather today will be rainy because of the ITCZ. The forecast says that there is a 75% chance of rain. Does it mean that there is a great chance that it will rain today? In the question above, the chance that it will rain today is 75%. To answer the question above, we need to know the concept of probability. Look at the number line below. 75% is equivalent to 0.75 in decimals. We can say that the event that it will rain today is likely to happen. Because based on the number line, 0.75 or 75% is closer to 1 or 100 percent. Study the following examples. Example number 1. Use impossible, most unlikely, as unlikely, as likely, most likely, and certain to describe the likelihood or probability of each of the following statements. Letter A. It will snow tomorrow. Philippines is a tropical country. It is impossible to snow. Letter B. The likelihood that my name will be selected twice from the fishbowl with 15 names of my classmate is about 13%. Since the probability is much closer to 0%. It is most unlikely that my name will be chosen, but not impossible. Letter C. The weather forecaster says there is 50% chance of rain today. The 50% means that the chance of rain is as likely as it is unlikely. It does not mean that it will rain nor will not rain today. Letter D. 
The sports analyst says that Manny Pacquiao has 75% chance of winning his fight. This means that Manny is most likely to win his fight because 75% is closer to 100%. And letter E, the sun will rise tomorrow. The sun rises every day, so it is certain to happen. Example number 2. A toss coin is done in a badminton game to determine which player A or B will have the first opportunity to do the serve. So we have here, player A chose head, while player B chose tail. When a coin is tossed, there are two possible outcomes. The head, which is chosen by player A, or tails, which is chosen by player B. If the umpire flip the coin, it is a likely as unlikely to land as head or tail. So that means, there is a 50% chance that player A or player B will be the first to serve. Example number 3. There are 1 yellow, 2 blue, and 2 green cubes in a box. Without looking, what is the likelihood of picking the yellow cube out of the box? There are total of 5 cubes inside the box. 1 yellow plus 2 blue plus 2 green equals 5. The total is 5. This is represented as the denominator. So 5 is the denominator. The numerator tells us how many yellow cube is in the box which is 1. So 1 is the numerator. The chance of picking a yellow cube is 1 over 5 or 1 out of 5 or it is 2%. So, it is unlikely to pick yellow out of the box. Example number 4. Look at the picker wheel at the side. Write and describe the probability of landing on A, 1, B, 3 or 5, C, even number D7. Solutions It can land on 6 different regions numbered 1 to 6, as you can see in the picker wheel. So, for letter A, the chance of landing on 1 is 1 out of 6 or 1 6 or 16.67%. So, it is more unlikely to happen that the spinner will land on 1. Letter B for the spinner to land on either 3 or 5 is unlikely to happen. The chance is 2 out of 6 or 1 third or 33.33%. Letter C, there are 3 even numbers, 2, 4, and 6 on the spinner. The probability of landing on one of these numbers is 3 out of 6 or 1 half or 50%. Therefore, we can describe the probability as equally likely as unlikely. And for letter D, it is impossible for the spinner to land on 7 because there is no 7 on the spinner. Therefore, the probability of this event to happen is 0% or impossible to happen. And now, let us do learning task 1. Here is a bag of colored marbles. Try to describe the probability for each situation. Write your answer on the space provided. Number 1. What is the likelihood of pulling out a red marble? Most unlikely, as likely, as unlikely, most likely, and certain. So inside the bag, there are 2 red marbles out of 25 marbles. All in all, there are 25 marbles inside the bag. So this is 2 out of 25. 2 out of 25 is equivalent to 0 0.08 in decimals. And in percent, it is 8%. So that means it is most unlikely of pulling out a red marble. Number 2. What is the chance of pulling out a green marble? The number of green marbles inside the bag is 15 over 25 or 15 out of 25. In decimal, it is 0.60. 
in percent it is 60 percent so that means the chance of pulling out a green marble is most likely to happen number three what is the probability picking a red marble so the same as number one there are two red marbles over 25 or 2 out of 25 it is equals to 0 0.08 in decimals and in percent it is 8 percent so the probability of picking a red marble is most unlikely number four is there an equal chance of fooling out green and black marble why so the answer is no there are 15 green marbles and only three black marbles since there are more green marbles the chances of pulling out a green marble are much higher so that means the chance is impossible to happen or zero percent and for number five about how many percent is the chance of pulling out a purple marble so there are five purple marbles inside the bag out of 25 so 5 out of 25 is equivalent to 0.2 in decimal in percent it is 20 percent so the chance of pulling out purple marble is most unlikely to happen for learning task 2 perform the experiment below answer the following questions do this on your notebook you are going to perform the following experiment. For number one, when you flip a coin, there are only two possible outcomes. What are they? The two possible outcomes might be head or tail if you flip a coin. So that means it is as likely or as unlikely to happen or 50% chance. Number two, based on this information, what is the probability of the coin landing on head expressed as fraction? The probability of the coin landing on head is 50% chance. And the probability of the coin landing on tail is also 50% chance. And in fraction, that is 1 half. So for head and tail, when we express as fraction, it is 1 half. And for number 3, if you flip the coin 12 times, how many heads do you think you should get and how many tails? Write your answer on the space provided. So, you will answer this based on your experiment. Experiment. Flip your coins 12 times and record your results by coloring the squares for each trial. Record how many head and tails you get. Write the total of heads and the total tails. Then answer this question. Did your prediction match your experiment? What do these results tell you? For learning task 3, answer the questions below. Write your answers in your math notebook. Express your answers as percent and fraction. Number 1. In the word banana, what is the letter that would most likely be picked at random? So the letter that would most likely be picked at random is letter A. Because there are three letter A in the word banana out of six letters. Three out of six. In decimal, it is 0.5. And in percent, it is 50%. So the fraction is 3 over 6 or 3 6. Number 2. A box contains 5 red marbles, 7 blue marbles, and 8 white marbles. What is the probability of taking out a red marble? There are 5 red marbles. If we add 5 red marbles plus 7 blue marbles plus 8 white marbles, the denominator is 20. So the fraction is 5 over 20 or 5 out of 20. In decimal, it is 0.25 and in percent, it is 25%. The probability of taking out a red marble is unlikely to happen. Number 3. If you will choose a number below, what is the chance of getting an odd number? 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So the answer is, it is impossible of getting an odd numbers because there is no odd numbers on the given. Therefore, the probability of getting an odd is 0% or impossible to happen. Number 4. What is the probability of choosing letter O in the word school? So in the word school, there are 2 letter O and the total letter of school is 6. In fraction, it is 2 6 or 2 out of 6. So that means the probability of choosing letter O is unlikely to happen. And for number 5, what is the probability of getting a 7 in a regular die? The answer is, a regular die has 6 sides number from 1 to 6. Since 7 is not a possible outcome, the probability of getting a 7 in a regular die is 0% or that is impossible to happen. And for the assessment, a recitation activity was given to the students of grade 6 Rizal. The teacher wrote the names of her students on slips of paper and placed in a bowl for the draw lot. Names were picked at random. Find each probability of the following scenarios. So the names are Marianne, Carmela, Angeline, Lawrence, Angel, Nancy, Lincoln, Sonia, Fernando, and Anne. So there are 10 names of students in a bowl. For letter A, drawing a name that begins with letter A. So the name that begins with letter A are Angeline, Angel, and Anne. So that means there are 3 letter A in a bowl out of 10. In decimal, it is 0.3 and in percent, it is 30%. So that means that is unlikely to happen. Letter B, drawing a name that begins with letter C. So the name that begins with letter C is only one, which is Carmela. One over 10 or 1 out of 10 or in decimal it is 0.1 in percent it is 10 percent and that is unlikely letter c drawing a name that starts with a consonant letter so the name that starts with a consonant letter are marian lincoln fernando carmela lawrence nancy sonia so these are 7. 7 out of 10. In decimal, that is 0.7 and in percent, that is 70%. That means that is likely. Letter D. Probability of a female student being called in the recitation activity. The probability of a female student, Marianne, Angeline, Angel, Carmela, Nancy, Sonia and Anne. So there are 7 female students out of 10. And that is 0.7 or 70%. That is likely. And for letter E, probability of a male student being called in the recitation activity. The male students are Lincoln, Fernando, and Lawrence. So there are only 3 male students out of 10. That is 0.3 or 30%. That means that is unlikely. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!